If you want to achieve a smooth level of gaming performance in your favorite games, the GPU or graphics card will be the most important component. This PC power right here will literally determine the number of FPS that you get and how smooth your gameplay is going to be. Meaning that the better the graphics card that you get, the better the performance is going to be. If you're looking to play at 1440p resolution, because it's actually the best resolution since you are combining the best quality with nice performance, and you need a new GPU to play at this resolution, then you are in the right place, because today we'll go over the best Best 1440p graphics cards for every budget that way you get the perfect graphics card for your budget and needs the link to every gpu mentioned today will be down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region my name is valentino that being said let's start we start by talking about the best value 1440p graphics cards. Here we have two options, one from AMD and one from Nvidia, and this is going to happen with most graphics cards in today's video, depending on which one you prefer. Now, in this case, you can get either the RX 9060 XD 16GB model from AMD, or the NVIDIA RTX 5060 Ti 16 GB model as well from NVIDIA. The main difference is going to be the NVIDIA feature set, but in terms of gaming performance, both of these GPUs will allow you to play at 1440p on high to ultra settings, even in high demanding games, and still achieve smooth performance at very, very decent frame rates. And if you want to play eSports shooters, well, here the CPU is going to matter quite a bit, so it really depends on the CPU that you get. And it's very important for you to get the right CPU for just any graphics card that I will mention in today's video. That's why I will talk about CPUs in just a second. On, but when it comes to esports games, if you have the right CPU, you will be achieving well over 240 plus FPS on average, competitive settings, or even faster performance depending on the esports game. So feel free to go with a 240 or 360 Hz 1440p display if you want to play these type of games. Now, I made an entire video talking about the best CPU and GPU combos for 1440p resolution in case you want to go ahead and watch that video. But if you don't want to, that's totally fine because down below in the video description, I will leave the perfect CPU combo for each GPU mentioned in today's video. That way, it's way easier for you to find the right CPU in case you're looking to build a new system or buying a new gaming computer. Back to the graphics cards, the 9060 XT goes for 350 bucks, while the Nvidia RTX 5060 Ti goes for $430. So going with Nvidia is going to be a little bit more pricey, but it is going to give you a better level of ray tracing performance and you get DLSS, which is the upscaler from Nvidia, and it is supported by more games compared to the upscaler from AMD in FSR. So if you think that you will be using the upscaling technology, so let's say you want to play with DLSS quality, or DLSS balance in the most high demanding games out there, I do recommend you spending the extra and going with the 5060 Ti. But if you're looking for the best price to performance and you don't think you're going to be playing with any form of upscaling technology or ray tracing enabled, going with the 9060 XT might be the better decision for you. And if you have more money to spend, you can get more premium graphics cards for 1440p in the NVIDIA RTX 5070 or RX 9070 from AMD. These two graphics cards will allow you to play any game that you want, even the most high demanding games out there, at 1440p ultra settings and still achieve very smooth performance at around 100 plus FPS on average. Not only that, but these GPUs are also very decent when it comes to 4K resolution if you're playing with the right settings, depending on the game, of course. So you're going to be getting more premium quality graphics cards for 1440p right now, but also for 4K games in case you want to upgrade your monitor resolution down the line. These GPUs as of right now are going on a discount as well, so if you can grab them at this price point, I do think that these are really nice deals. The RTX 5070 goes for $499 by the time of filming, and then the RX 9070 goes for around $560. Bucks. Now, what is the main difference between the two? In terms of pure gaming performance, the 9070 is going to be slightly faster and you get 16GB of VRAM, while with the NVIDIA 5070, you get 12GB of VRAM. For 1440p, you're not going to be using more than 12GB, so I don't see the issue with going with the 5070 in terms of VRAM. That being said, if you just want slightly faster performance, go with the 9070, but if you want the better price of performance, go with the 5070 and you also get the LSS and if you want to play eSports shooters, just like before, if you're using the right CPU, this time you will be achieving well over 300 plus FPS on average, competitive settings, depending on the eSports shooter, or even 500 plus FPS if you are using a faster CPU for gaming. Also, do keep in mind that the prices might be different when you're watching this video, because prices for graphics cards are changing basically every single day, so I will be updating every deal from the links down below in the video description, that way you get the best price for each GPU. Then, if you want to achieve the fastest performance for 1440p, so you basically want to max out this resolution and play any game that you want at the highest frame rates, I do recommend you getting the RX 9070 XT from AMD or the NVIDIA RTX 50. 
7070 Ti. Both of these GPUs will basically perform the same when it comes to pure gaming performance, and you will be achieving well over 120 plus FPS on average, high to ultra settings in high demanding games, which is insane performance. And then if you want to upgrade to 4K down the line, you can play at 80 plus FPS on average, or even faster performance if you are using DLSS or FSR. The 9070 XT from AMD is the cheaper graphics card at around 670 bucks by the time of filming, while the 5070 Ti goes for $750. So just like most GPUs, if you have more money to spend, the 5070 Ti is going to be the better graphics card overall because you're getting a better level of ray tracing performance and DLSS. But if you don't care about those features and you want the better price to performance, maybe you want to play at native resolution without any form of upscaling or FSR would work perfectly fine for the type of games that you play, going with the 9070 XT will save you some money and as I said before, will give you basically the same level of gaming performance. And then if you have a lot of money to spend and you want a future-proof graphics card for 1440p, meaning that you want to play the latest, most high-demanding games at this resolution right now and also in the near future, then I do recommend you upgrade it to the NVIDIA RTX 5080. This graphics card is designed more so for 4K resolution, but you can also use it for 1440p and achieve very fast performance. And I'm talking about well over 140 plus FPS on average, high-demanding games, high to ultra settings, so it's insane the type of performance that you get from this GPU at 1440p. Be. And of course, if you upgrade to 4K, you are going to be playing the most high-demanding games on high ultra settings without any issues at the highest resolution as well. However, the 5080 is not necessary by any means, and if you have around $700 to spend and you are thinking of upgrading to the 5080 and spending around $300 more, I would honestly advise against it because it's not that much faster than the 5070 Ti or the 9070 XT. I would only recommend you buying this one if you really want a future-proof GPU for 1440p and you have a higher budget already. And last but not least, in the video description you will find a bonus GPU in the Intel Arc B580, which is the cheapest graphics card I would buy for 1440p resolution. If you're okay with playing at 60 plus FPS on average at 1440p with the right settings in high demanding games, then that graphics card will be ideal for you because it goes for 250 bucks, so you will be getting very solid performance for the cheapest price. And as I said before, the CPU is very important and every PC part around the graphics card will be very important as well because if you are bottlenecking the graphics card, you might be getting high FPS, but you will be suffering from stutters, FPS drops, and that's every gamer's worst nightmare. So if you're building yourself a new system or maybe you are buying a pre-built PC, I made two complete videos talking about the best builds and the best pre-built PCs for 1440p resolution. That way you get the best PC without any bottlenecks and you're going to be utilizing the graphics card as you should be without any FPS drops. You will find those videos on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.